Welcome to the OpenEMR project. This is the sixth video of the OpenEMR Easy Docker development environment series. This video will cover OpenEMR coding with Visual Studio Code and Xdebug. In the prior tutorials, we have been using a simple text editor to demonstrate code changes. Now it is time to graduate to a specific source code editor. Notable options include Visual Studio Code, PHP Storm, and Sublime. This tutorial is going to show how to use Visual Studio Code. Assumptions of this tutorial are that you have set up and are using the OpenEMR Easy Docker development environment, which is covered in the video linked in this slide. This link is also in the video summary. This tutorial also assumes your environment is in the home backslash git backslash OpenEMR directory. This tutorial is going to cover installing Visual Studio Code and configuring it for OpenEMR and Xdebug. Ensuring configuration of Xdebug. And then putting it all together by showing off the use of Xdebug in Visual Studio Code. Let's get started. First, we are going to install Visual Studio Code via Snap. Again, these tutorials are assuming that you are, are using Ubuntu. We will uh, open a command line window and type sudo snap install dash dash classic code then put the password for your user and this will then install visual studio code which will take approximately one to two minutes So now uh, Visual Studio Code has completed installation. Next, we will create a opening our workplace in Visual Studio Code. We will uh, open up Visual Studio Code, typing code in this activity search, and again, click on the Visual Studio Code icon. There are options here. In this case, we are just going to complete the mark. We're going to click the mark done link to move through. And then we'll click on the open folder link. And then we'll go to the git open EMR folder and click open, which will essentially open a open EMR workplace. Here you want to toggle that you will trust the authors of all the files and click the yes I trust to ensure get all the functionality from Visual Studio Code and you can see there on the left your uh, opening our project with the directories now we're going to configure Visual Studio Code to work with Xdebug which will include installing a debug extension and then also replacing a launch.json script which is linked in the link here on this slide and is also linked in the video summary. So we're going to go to the extensions link and then 
for the search, we're going to search for PHP debug. And there's several of those. You want to click on the one that has the uh, large amount of downloads, 7 million, and also shows that X debug icon within the uh, description. So we'll click on this. And then in order to install it, there's an install button at the top, which we'll then click on. Which uh, quickly installs. Then we'll go back to the Explorer just to show the uh, directories in the project. And then go to this run in debug. Here you're going to see a create a launch.json file, which we'll should click on that link and then you will click the PHP debugger in the menu here it's showing a default launch.json script which we're going to delete completely so we're going to remove this script and replace it with another script so we'll just delete this entire script and then we're going to go to that link that was included on the slide is also linked in the uh, video summary page. And here that link goes to this page. And we're going to copy this entire script. And then we're going to paste it into this script here. Again, essentially using the script and then we will save this script which will now configure xdebug for opening MR use in Visual Studio Code and here's the Explorer you can actually see the script is in the workplace environment so now for xdebug the opening the opening MR easy Docker development environment already has xdebug configured uh, to work with it we just showed how to configure it for a Visual Studio Code. Now all that is left to do is to install Xdebug helper extension in Firefox's web browser, which can be found at the link in this slide. This link is also in the video summary. So we're going to go to that link in the Xdebug helper. Firefox, and we'll just click on this Add to Firefox button, which will then install the extension. And you'll click here to add. And another pop-up may come up, which you'll just click OK. And then we can show that it's been installed by going to the Firefox menu. Going to the add-ons and themes. Then to the extensions. And you can see here, here's the Xdug X debug helper extension, which is already toggled on. So now we're going to put everything together. First, we need to start and possibly restart the OpenMR Easy Docker development testing environment. So we're going to open a terminal. And then we're going to go into the first change into the home directory. And then we're going to go into the get backslash openmr backslash docker backslash development dash easy directories. And this is where we can start the testing environment. First, we're going to do a docker psa ps dash a just see if there are any dockers loaded. If there, if the easy environment is already loaded, then you're going to have to do an openmr dash cmd down command. In this case, there aren't. So we just need to do the openmr dash cmd up command. This will start the environment, which will take five to 10 minutes. So you can ensure the environment's open by doing openmr cmd dl, which this is what is seen after the environment has been completed. So at this point, it is started up. So now we're going to show off xdebug in Visual Studio Code. 
we're going to do this by placing a breakpoint in one of the scripts and demonstrating how it works. So we're going to go to Visual Studio Code. And we're going to go to the script at interface. login and login.php. This is essentially the login script. As you can see here, you have a full-fledged editor with PHP syntax coloring. So first we're going to confirm that the that your OpenEMR testing environment is working by going to localhost colon 8300 in Firefox. Username is admin, password is pass. We're just going to log in to show that it's working. And uh, looks like the installation, your installation is working just fine. So now we're going to log out. Since all of our testing is going to be on this login page. Again, here you can see if I refresh the page, it, refresh, it refreshes just fine. This is the toggle for the Xbug helper debug, which is currently disabled. So now we're going to go into Visual Studio Code. And now we want to get the debugger running by clicking on this run in debug mode. And then we're going to set a breakpoint, which essentially is a, a way to stop the code while it's running. We're going to set a breakpoint at this line of code here. So we now have a breakpoint. Now we need to actually start Xdebug working. So this will click on this start debugging mode. You'll click on this. You can notice on the bottom of the screen, all of a sudden that turned orange, showing that it was now, now it's currently listening for Xdebug calls. So now we'll go to this. If we do refresh now, you'll notice nothing happens, just normal. It just runs the script and completes. And that's because the Xdebug helper is currently turned off. We'll put it into debug mode there. So now when we refresh, all of a sudden when it hits the breakpoint, it goes back to Visual Studio Code. At that spot, it, the script actually stops here. So you can actually start analyzing what is happening at the script, what variables are set. So in this case, we're just going to show what's happening with these view arg array with the variables in it. So we can go to this variable section and, and, and go to that array and go to that variable. So we'll click on this view args array. You can see here the title is set to OpenEMR. So it's saying that that OpenEMR name variable is set to OpenEMR and you can go through all these variables. You can set breakpoints anywhere, see variables anywhere. It's a very powerful feature to be able to do for debugging PHP. These are some controls up here at the top. Right, right now, as you can see, the script is actually not run. It's actually paused. Visual Studio Code has stopped the script. So in order to make the script finish, you actually will click on this continue button at the top, which means it'll move on and the script will then complete. So now if you go to Firefox, you can see the script is no longer running. And just to demonstrate again, We'll go to the Xdebug helper icon here. We can disable it. Again, this will stop Xdebug from working. So we can refresh this login page and nothing will happen. It just runs like normal. And then if we go to Xdebug helper and turn on that debug feature, that will then turn on Xdebug and then you click refresh and you'll again be sent back to Visual Studio Code at that breakpoint that you set. Here again, you can look at all the variables. Just very, you know, you can do this anywhere. Any script you want in OpenMR, you can set breakpoints. Uh, and analyze variables and helps you to quickly debug and problem solve issues. And then when you're all done, you'll click on this stop to stop the Xdebug server from Visual Studio Code from running, which you want to do when you're not using it. And that's the end of the tutorial.